The path of destruction is a late bloomer, and this is solidified with how much of the roster is actually played. What up? So is she here. We understand that this class boils down to two things. Take damage and do damage. Every character here will be taking damage in some way, shape, or form, and thus be dealing damage in return. This class is essentially going to be your tankish damage dealers. Every single character here has some form of utility provided in their kits, whether that is increasing their defenses, their HP, or overall just having damage reduction. We have to take into consideration a couple of things. First of all, Clara is a very strong character, so she's going to be the exception to the rule here. This character was so strong that she had to receive nerfs before the release of the game. That being said, she's not the character you want to bring in every single bit of content. I think that's part of the reason why destruction characters don't really stand the test of time currently. Memories of Chaos is the hardest content in the game. Characters that simply are too slow don't really get much value in this game mode. Now, of course, you can use Clara as a tank DPS slash character and still get value with her. And in a game mode where you want to make sure you want to clear in a certain amount of cycles or turns, you're really not going to get much value with a character that is simply too slow. But while she may be one of the slowest characters in the game, she makes up for that by having not only her counterattack, but a very nice elemental skill she has. Clara being able to negate some of the damage she receives and counterattacking whenever she's hit by the enemy is very strong. It's something that no other character in the game can currently do. Being able to reduce even more of the damage she takes and then deal more damage because of her enhanced counterattacks is a very strong part of her kit. Being able to remove a debuff placed on her is very nice because she's going to have higher taunt values than any other character in your team comps, and thus whenever she gets hit by the enemy, well, she will begin debuffed a lot of the time, and this allows her to get rid of those debuffs. And the cool thing about Clara is every single part of her trace adds value to the character. Not only are you getting physical damage, you're getting attack percent, you're getting some more HP, even more HP, more attack, and more physical damage. The reason why every single stat here is valuable for the character is because she's going to be a tanky character. You want to give her a lot of HP, defense, attack, make her really tanky and hit hard. With Clara being the current strongest destruction character, what about the rest of the other ones? You see, the Trailblaze main character destruction isn't that bad. I personally use her time to time and I find a lot of value with the character. With that being said, of course the fire main character kind of overshadows the destruction one because, well, you probably get more value in having a team-wide shield and taunt than you do with using a character that just does physical damage. The destruction main character is one of the strongest abusers of weakness break in this game. She or he will provide tons of value the more you constantly break the enemy's weakness, or toughness bar we should say. Now as a bruiser character, you will be getting tons of value building defense, HP, and tanky stats on this character because she has a talent that increases her defense by 10% every time her talent stacks. And then her ascension traces give her more tanky stats, which overall enhances the performance of the character. So you get value in having all of the stats you get from your traces, which makes up for the fact, well, she doesn't really get any crit rate or crit damage. But if we're being totally honest here, destruction characters are one of the hardest characters to build. You need essentially every single stat. On some characters, you need even more stats. You need a lot of HP, a lot of attack, a lot of defense, maybe some speed, crit rating, crit damage, and maybe some effect resistance if you don't want to get debuffed. It's really hard to build a destruction character because, well, they're going to be taking damage and doing damage. And with any character that takes damage, you naturally want to have them more bulky. Now on to Arlen. This is a very sad case of too good to be true. He was a very strong character before the game released, and that's prevalent and the reason why he received nerfs before the game actually came out. Now, I do understand that there is the character Jing Wong, and one of the reasons maybe why he got nerfed was so that Jing Wong had a better release, because you don't want a 4-star to be competitive to a 5-star in a game like this. Arlen unfortunately got the bad end of the stick, but he's still a pretty solid character. I personally just don't use him because he's not really that good for me. But with a character that's able to soak damage and essentially deal more damage the lower his HP is, gives him tons of value. He's essentially a 4-star Hutal. As prevalent to other destruction characters, Arlen has a lot of damage negating effects, damage reduction effects baked into his kit, or even damage nullifying altogether, which allows him to be more tankier, and thus he's a part of the destruction as a bruiser. He can resist dot debuffs, which is actually pretty good. This is very underrated because, well, there is a lot of enemies that deal tons of bleed effects, and if you get stacked with those bleed effects, it does so much damage to your character. 
and then being able to heal HP whenever he defeats an enemy if his HP is lower than 30% adds a lot more value to the character. Now with him being a 4 star you will be getting the Eidolons at some point and this in turn makes him a much more valuable character. Having his E6 gives him tons of more value. The damage amp he gets is massive. With the destruction main character being one you get for free and unlocking the Eidolons for the character, she's honestly really good. I use her quite a bit and uh, unfortunately I don't have the last Eidolon which honestly is pretty darn good. I have to do the rest of the Herda Space Station and get the rest of the Herda Neums. But once I do, I will be using this character even more. Pitch Star Cook the Great is a destruction character and sometimes I scratch my head of that thought. How is she a destruction character? She doesn't really have too many damage negating effects. She really doesn't have too much of a frontline kind of hit centered around being able to add value to the team overall. And she's not really one of the best shield breakers in the game. So how does this character have destruction path? Hook can resist some crowd control debuffs, but this really seems out of place. Hook does restore HP equal to 5% of her max HP whenever her talent is triggered, but again, this really seems out of place. And she does get some survivability with max HP gain with her talents, and then she does get some crit damage, which is really valuable, some more attack, which is also pretty valuable. Now, with a character where you're going to be really dealing most damage with your bird, you're going to be building mostly attack on the character, and really only attack. But with a character like this, with the fact of the matter, how does Hook have this kit? You see, she will be dealing most of her damage with burns, so you're getting tons of attack in your traces, which gives more value because as we all know, well, the burn effects in this game or dots over damage over time effects do not really crit. So they can't crit, but they are amplified with damage amplifications, such as, let's just say, damage boost increases, percent damage increases, defense shred, resistance shred, but there isn't anything else in her kit that provides more value to that. Now, I do understand that this character was nerfed before the release of the game. I personally used Hook quite a bit, and I find I found a lot of value with the character up to the end of the CBT. I really don't know why she received nerfs, because she really wasn't that strong to begin with. Maybe it was just me and how I feel about the character. Honestly, they didn't have to touch Pitch Dark Hook the Great. I don't think she really deserved the nerf she received. I mean, after all, she just wanted to sell Jinjin. Jin. I don't think that's reasons to warrant a nerf. Now, the issue is the Destruction class has a lot of characters that received tweaks before the release of the game. With a class centered around tanking and doing damage in return, you essentially have a class that might be pretty strong. You see, with a class that is centered around stat checks, so having the appropriate stats for the right contents, you may have a class that turns out to be extremely strong at certain points. Now, I do believe that Destruction will definitely be a late bloomer, and that's prevalent with how characters like Clara will definitely show the test of time. One of the problems we currently face with the Destruction path is, well, the other characters we're kind of waiting for hasn't been released yet. We only have one 5 star currently that is a part of the destruction path. And we do have the main character, which I guess we can we can include as another 5 star. But the honest reality of the situation is she's not that amazing. She's still pretty good, but she's not like a true 5 star, I would say. We have characters on the way, such as Baldi, who is probably going to be an extremely good character. Really good to the point where you probably want to pick him up if you are a fan of the destruction path and you look forward to the playstyle he provides. And given how the character works, he gets more value with his HP being lowered. Why was this class receiving many changes before the release of the game, even if Memories of Chaos wasn't going to be content where most of these characters was shining? And the reason is, I don't know. I really can't answer that question. I stream daily on twitch.tv slash Toshio. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.